Hi everyone, welcome to Guru Vision this week. At App Guru, we like to mix things up a little bit and this week we're going to bring you a series of videos throughout the week. Tonight's video though is James's tech news segment and he's gonna bring you all the latest news that's happened over the week. Take it away, James. Hello and welcome to the tech news for this week. It's gonna be great. Number one in my tech news is a teacher resource app of the day. It's a great app, it's been released, and it gives you one teacher approved app every day. It helps you engage with your students with new and approved coolness to share with all your little legends. You get daily updates, daily inspirations, teacher resources, and cool lesson plans. And these have all been approved. You also get some great interviews with some awesome teachers and these premium resources will save you time and your little brain cells. Check it out. So number two in my tech news is Sphero. Sphero is a cool little robotic ball and it runs around the floor and where you control it. But the creator of this cool little robotic toy has launched an initiative aimed at teaching kids programming, robotics, maths and science. These little toys can be controlled via your iOS device or your Android apps. And these guys have announced a great new program called Spark an educational initiative that uses Sphero to teach essential knowledge in the curriculum. Spark, pronounced SPARK, is standing for Schools, Parents, Robots and Kids, S-P-R-K. And it consists of an eight week program with free downloadable lessons to be used with free apps that are available on the iOS and Android store. The first app's called Macro Lab, and you can create programs with Macro Lab for Sphero to use. And, uh, with presets. And the next one's called All Basic, which lets you write your own programs. They say, the directors, if in 10 years a child points back to Sparrow as their inspiration for becoming an engineer, we've done our job, says creator Adam Wilson. And guess what? You can't put a price on that. The lessons look at mean, median, mode, patterns, and other very cool concepts. It's very cool. We learn by play, we learn by inquiry, and a little sparrow helps us learn that way. You can get all the lessons from the Spark website and uh, have a little look at the video above. You'll get into it. Oh. So we start off with teaching kids the basics of Macro Lab, and then we start adding some more complex things. So very quickly we start incorporating some very basic programming techniques. Now you're speaking programming languages. Oh, they're doing loops on day one, but they're still having a ton of fun, so that's actually really cool. Yeah! And here's my favorite quote about Sparrow. It's like Einstein and C-3PO had a baby. It's that awesome. <laughs> I'd like to see that baby. One crazy looking kid. We have one coming to App Guru in the next week. Not the kid, but the little Sparrow. And our review and test drive will be coming soon after. So check it out. Get ready to see me and Matt chasing the little ball around the room. It's gonna be awesome. Bye. So my number three in tech news this week is the Google Cardboard Virtual Reality. Google's just released a cheap DIY cardboard VR device for their little phones. Awesome applications for education to immerse your students in the learning environment. Let's just watch Lisa Simpson now engage with Genghis Khan in the school of the future with VR. Children, it's time for your history lesson. Put on your virtual reality helmets. Excellent. Hello, Lisa. I'm Genghis Khan. You go where I go. Defile what I defile. Eat who I eat. Well, it only works with Google, right? So if you've got an iPhone, no luck, right? Wrong. It's been tried with the iPhone, and I love what it does. And it mightn't fit the 4 or 4S, but it might be a bit small to fit into the cardboard, but the 5 and the 5S work just fine. There are a few apps, apps that we found in the store that are working with it at the moment, um, like stereoscopic tunnel effect, and the height, which makes you feel like you're really above everything, and 3D tube, which draws on all these cool videos from YouTube that enhance learning and 3D environments. It's pretty cool. 
So we want educational developers to get behind this tech and get it into the classroom. It's so cheap, it costs 20 bucks for virtual reality in the classroom uh, per cardboard device. Uh, the Oculus Rift, which is a uh, virtual reality device for uh, comparison, is $2,000. So I think devices like this are going to get into the classroom and going to be the way forward. It's very exciting. I can't wait to eat what Genghis Khan eats. Wow, James, that was great. Can't wait to get into that virtual reality stuff. You can check me out on Wednesday and I'm going to talk to you about a really cool app called Poplet. So that's Wednesday for our appetizer. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.